Hey guys and welcome back. I have a video on synthetic dimensions and how to create it using something called a value list. Check that out if you haven't because that's part one. In this video, part two, we I want to show how synthetic dimensions actually doesn't really work with aggregate. So how to get around it and how to fix the problem if you're if you want to have a synthetic dimension and also aggregate your measure. So let's see what the problem is. Now I have a synthetic dimension. What is it? Well, if I go into my load, I've created something called V top list, which is nothing but my value list. And then I call it in my dimension. So I go to my dimension and I say value list V top list. That's my variable that has all the names of the dimension. So this is essentially my synthetic dimension. Click on apply and I have top countries, bottom country and middle countries. That's exactly what our value list is. And then what I want to do is I actually want to aggregate my measure. For example, here, what I'm trying to do is I say that if my um, value list is actually top countries, in that case, I want to sum up sales. If the sales is greater than 800,000, then I say one. I aggregate it for country and then I count it. So essentially, I want to count all the countries that have sales greater than 800,000 and uh, assign them under top countries. For middle countries, I want to say those that are more than 100,000 and the bottom ones are those that are well greater than 50,000 or let's say lesser than 100,000, right? So I'm just saying if sum of sales is greater than 800,000, then it's one. Aggregate this across all countries because that's my dimension and then count it. But you know what? Because this is a synthetic dimension, it doesn't really work. So if I click on apply here, you see that it just works on one of my value list it doesn't work on all so how do we get around it and the main issue here is that we are on different levels of granularity for example here we have a synthetic dimension which is on the value list but this particular synthetic dimension is not in your aggregate right because when you're aggregating it has to be in the same level that is the country level or one level lower that's how you aggregate your measures right but you can't really do that because your dimension well, it's it's synthetic. You've just you've you kind of made it up and you're trying to put your dimension into different buckets and that doesn't really work out because your country is not in the same granularity as your synthetic dimension. Now, how do you get around it? Well, what we could do is instead of just bringing in our value list, that is our synthetic dimension, what we do is we create a calculated dimension. How do we do a calculated dimension? So these are my three different, let me see here. These are my three different buckets that I want. And instead of just adding the three buckets and then calculating countries that are supposed to fall into these three buckets in my measure, what I do is I create a calculated dimension where I already segregate my countries into these three buckets. And then I do a count. How does that look like? So I, I go into my dimension here and over here, instead of value list, which gives me the three countries, I say, well, we say if we make a calculated measure, right, a calculated dimension. So if sum of sales amount is actually greater than 800,000, that's my first bucket. In that case, I want it to be top countries. Else if greater than, let's say, then I want it to be, again, please just follow step one if you're kind of confused. And then for the third one, we say sum of sales less than 100,000 then. And of course, these are just sales. You want to aggregate it. So I say aggregate it across my dimension. What is my dimension? It is country. So now I'm saying that if sales amount for a particular country is greater than 800,000, then put it under top countries. Else, if it's middle, put it under middle countries. If it's less than 100,000, put it under bottom countries. So I've created three values for my dimension here. So it's a calculated dimension and I'm aggregating uh, aggregating the different countries across my dimension, which is the country dimension. So when I say, click on apply, and now I have three different buckets. It doesn't show because I don't have a measure here, right? So then all I need to do is I need to put in my simple measure. What is the measure? Well, I'm trying to count the distinct countries that fall in the different buckets based on their sales, right? So I just say count distinct my field country and I click on apply and voila, now you have it 
counts the number of countries that fall into the different buckets and it works. My measure is super simple, just count distinct number of countries. My dimension is calculated. So instead of calculating in my measure, I calculate it directly in my dimension. And here I say, if the sales amount is something else, then put that country under my new dimension called top country instead of using a value list. So it's essentially a synthetic dimension, but it's already calculated synthetic dimension. This is one way you could do it. The issue mainly here is with your aggregate. There's another easier way to do it. That is, you could still use a value list, but just avoid using aggregate in your measure. So. How do you do that? Well, that's going to be part three. Hope this was super helpful. Really appreciate it if you left a like and I'll see you in part three. Yeah, cool. Peace.